back again with another video. And as you can see, today we're taking a look at this, the 2016 Ford Mustang. Let's just give you a little tour around it. This one's the metallic grey one. It's only the 2.3 litre EcoBoost, so it's not the 5 litre GT. Uh, it's very noisy around here, guys, so I apologise for the, uh, the audio. Um, it's got twin exhausts. And also, when you lock it, of course, the thing that I showed you just before is keyless start, which I don't think is coming to the, with the UK version. Um, also, what you get is, is pretty much standard. With this being the 2.3 litre EcoBoost base model, you don't need to touch the key, just slide your hand down, door unlocks, just show you the interior. So, you get a nice full leather sports seat. If you reach behind, I'll show you the back. There you go, reach behind, show you the back. Not much like room for um, adult passengers, but there is things in there for baby seats. So there's that. So if you get onto the interior. Now this is a really, really nice place to be. You've got three fence at the top here, another one over there. You've got the Mustang since 1964 plaque there. The system inside is the same as the Lincoln Navigator that the video that I shot a good couple of months back. Um, I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. You get all your buttons here even though this is all touchscreen. Your volume, you can tune the radio with that one. Then you've got all your air conditioning settings including air conditioned seats and heated seats and all the other good ones that you see there. You've got your hazard light switch, engine stop start, traction control off and then you've got this which changes the... let's just start the car up. So basically what this does, it changes the way your steering wheel set up. You can have normal, you can have sport. Start that again, eh? Okay, so you move on to this, the steering wheel switch. What you can have is you can have normal, you can have sport, or you can have comfort. Now I've been leaving it in normal. But then on the other side you've got mode, so basically if you switch it to mode you've got normal, sport plus, track and snow and wet. Um, I haven't really tried much out with it because I've only had it for a couple of days. Uh, the screen in the middle is again, like the Lincoln Navigator one, you can display anything from the menu on your steering wheel here. And it'll display in the, the ads up there, so normal light switch and then you've got your steering wheel which has got the flappy pedal gear shift um, on both sides, you've got your control for the middle screen you've got your radio dials here, your phone dials here and then you've got your cruise control on this side so all in all it's very it's very comfortable, it's very easily accessible with either hand um, your door panel on this side and yeah guys that's really about it, now it's the 2.3 litre EcoBoost it still produces 310 horsepower um, so it's still pretty quick, but I'd love a chance to get behind the wheel of the GT to see what that can do. Um, but yeah. Oh, and also on the gear stick as well, you get this nice little push button at the top, rather than underneath, like on normal Fords. It's on the stop, you just slide it down, and then any mode you want, obviously. You get your cup holders, and then, then you've got your armrest back here. So when you're coming out to the back, you got these really nice tail lights, uh, and you got the camera just above the Ford Mustang badge, just right here. And also, if you use the key, pop the boot. Let's check out the boot. It is a fair size. It's fair depth. I'd say that's how you get about two suitcases in there quite easily. Um, and as you can see, it's 
very low bear and it goes in. So there's that. This car is just an absolute dream to drive. Um, I've gave myself two years. So within two years, fingers crossed, I'll have a Mustang, whether it be the 2.3 litre or the 5 litre, more than likely it's going to be the 2.3 litre EcoBoost. Uh, I haven't got big goals like most YouTubers, just to uh, maybe reach a thousand subscribers this year. for the 2016 Ford Mustang video. If you've enjoyed it, a like rating would be appreciated. Subscribe if you're new for more content. Thanks very much for watching guys. Catch you in the next one.